this last lesson, we're going to look at how we can work with ID3 information that are in MP3 files. And ID3 is metadata that's inside of an MP3 file. And it can include things like the title, the artist, genre, that type of thing. So let's take a look here. We have a text file, excuse me, a text box, dynamic text, and it is called track info. And I went ahead and set it up as Arial and regular. And um, if we test this movie, and then as soon as I hit the play, watch right over here. We see artist, the name of the artist, and the song, and the name of the song. That information is coming from the MP3 file. Let's take a look at the code. I added one line of code here to our play sound function. So we set the track info text equal to, and then here's just a string, and a concatenation of plus my sound, which is our sound instance that's on our stage, and then dot id3 dot artist. So that's going to put the artist there if we set that information up. Here's some more information about ID3. So if we click on ID3 and then click on the help button. And then also here it says see also sound.id3 and that's what we're working with. So if we click on that, here are all the things that you can get. The course the sound class. So the sound.id3 artist and song name. Those are the two that we used in this example. And by the way, if you set up an MP3 player in using ActionScript 2.0, this was the old ID3 tag, and this is the new, the new one now. And this is just a start for you for MP3 players. You can get very complex using XML files and playlists and volume sliders and progress bars. So use this as a jumping off point for your MP3 player and have fun exploring.